Soft boy. Oh. So what what happens now? Whew! I think I have everything set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, act natural. Be cool, Charlie, be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Something fishy? Ah, rats. What? No! What? No! You asked too many questions. Sorry, sweetie, it's the feds. I don't know how to respond. Well, we're always very... Don't be like, you asked too many questions. No. Sorry, sweetie, it's the feds. <laughs> They've got us wiretapped. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send them in a different direction, but even I am no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Well, if they think they're going to take me alive, they've got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right, I do have a little surprise for you. Yeah, I can tell. You're, you're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Uh, Father, it would fill my heart with glee. I'll lead Amanda to the kitchen uh, with present, where present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Aw, uh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off of the table, and her jaw drops. No way. I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long-haul paranormal ice gold rose truckers? <gasps> All 19 seasons? And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts from the show. Oh, Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. <coughs> I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the pig skin or something? Totally. I follow her to the back door. <laughs> Oh, but the daddies are here! Oh, that's so nice of them! <gasps> wow! You told me not to make a deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here! You invited all my friends! <laughs> well, everyone wanted to come and support you! Is that a mac and cheese bar? Yes, customizable, down to the type of macaroni. And there's an ice cream cake? The good kind, that has the crunchies in the middle. I, I don't know what to say. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure that everyone's having a good time, but first, mac and cheese. Charlie, my dude! I don't remember Pablo's voice. How's the shirt business? My bud, I got men's shirts, I got women's, I got tank tops and sizes, shapes, and colors. Each one of them of fine quality. Screen printed with the logo and visage of world-renowned uh, witch house outfit, Vacant Veil. <coughs> Purchasable at most respectable retails. But also the trunk of my car. I'm also selling my mom's world-famous homemade apple butter. Never stop hustling, Pablo. Baby, you got it. Hey, bro! Bro! This is a real rager, taking our older age into uh, consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Uh, don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye out for your fruit on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Let's hit the gym sometime soon, huh? Sure thing, dude. Briar and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hi, little ones! Hello! Hiya! Aw. Uh, Thanks for all the ice cream cake. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we're, you know, we look alike. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure this one out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, yeah? Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us. 
Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yeah, I could not have asked for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, we'll see you in more church events. You got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year, and I'm sure the kids would love to see your dance moves again. Oh, sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out. Uh, sure, that'd be great. Well, see you later. Hugo comes up with a plate of mac and cheese. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Charlie. Thanks, Hugo. I learned from the best. I've got a pocket full of gift cards that uh, say you already knew a thing or two. Let's get together for trivia night sometime soon, huh? You know it. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. It's, I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will help. Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Amanda starts to pack away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be, like, afraid of talking to you. You no longer have hold power over me. Uh, you are right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break everything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Are you so mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? No. Yes. <laughs> and I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. Uh, she'll fit in the college just fine. Hey. Hey. Hmm? Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Hey, man. Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of banana bread Kennedy's ready for her. Aw, oh, thank you. I know she will love that. Oh, what a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. The icebox cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. Ah, uh, thanks for coming by. I see Daisy and Amanda in the corner of the party and walk up to them. I swear, if you two are not planning another... If you two are planning another parent trap... Relax, Dad. We already won the game. We're just having a friendly chat. Tell me more about college! Slow down, kiddo. You're not even in middle school yet. But I want to go to... But I want to go to class with my PGs, like, now! <laughs> I mean... I mean, nothing's stopping you. But, but Daisy, I hear you. I know you're stoked on college and skipping grades and taking over the world of science, but you gotta enjoy being a kid first. Growing up is weird and scary, and eventually you can rent a car. And eventually you can rent a car, but you've gotta get through middle school in one piece first. You know how you wish you were going to college? I wish I was in fifth grade. I want recess and snack time back. Cherish it, girl. <laughs> You got a big future ahead of you. I don't want you growing up too fast, though, on us. All right. Thanks, Amanda. Whew. Whew. This might be the vodka talking, but... I think I raised a good daughter. Okay, stop, stop being silly. Let's, um, let's go. Uh, I easily, slowly, Amanda seems like she has a handle on the situation. As the party winds down, I take a, back, a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over to me and sits down. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. Oh my god, I can't see. Okay, wipe away the stuff for your eyes. Oh. Okay. So, I, um, I also have something for you. Oh, I am not ready for this. I am not ready for this. Oh, no. Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but, uh, growing up wasn't easy, but... It could have been a lot harder. If it wasn't for you, Dad, you've been there for me through everything, and there's... There's been times where you've been my only friend. And I was scared of going to college and being far away, but... Everything you've done has helped me prepare for this. I'm, I feel ready. <sighs> <sighs> I 
I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Oh, God. dude, it's too late, Charlie. It's too late. Too late. You're the best, Tad. I love you. Oh, and I'm crying. Okay, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. Present time! Tiny package. I tear off the wrapping to find a framed picture of me and Amanda. Oh, it's us! Kind of shocking that all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured at least we need at least one together. Amanda, thank you. I can't breathe. This is bad. Uh, watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You are a talented, intelligent young woman. I am so excited to see what the future holds for you. Dog, I'm dead, kid. Always do. We share a big hug. This is just the beginning. Plenty more memories. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Oh, I will break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally, you're probably going to have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. She hops up. Looks like someone's waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard where Brian is on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree and he smiles. I'll leave you up to it. I'll leave you to do it. Uh, me and the Emmas are going to go eat ice cream. <gasps> she made up with her friends. Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, she made up with her friends. Oh my gosh, okay. Or, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's put the glasses back on. This is this is a lot for me to take right now. This is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting this many feels. The Love you, Pops! <laughs> Amanda runs off to join her friends. I am losing my headphone here. Everything's... Oh, we have a cherry... Oh, we have a pretty cherry blossom tree in the backyard. That's pretty. I take a seat next to Brian as the last guests make their way out of the party. Uh. Nice job. I couldn't have thrown a better one myself. I smile. So are we doing, like, opposite competition now? Yeah, we're just going to compliment each other relentlessly. I bet you, I bet you could do more push-ups than me. I bet you're better with computers than I am. I bet you could trim a tree faster than me. I bet you could de-ice a sidewalk more thoroughly. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I like this better. Brian blushes. I nestle myself into the soft space between Brian's shoulder and chest. No matter how many times he washes that shirt, I bet he'll never get the smell of campfire out of it. Not that I mind. Got a long summer coming. Interested in more fishing trips with me and Daisy and Amanda? As long as you'll save me again if I fall into water, I'd be happy to. Gotta sneak in as much father and daughter time as possible before Amanda heads out. Also, be careful. She's probably going to try and steal your dog and take him with her to college. I also get the feeling that Daisy might stow away in her suitcase. I'll, we'll watch out for that. The sunset casts a pink glow over everything, and a quiet calm seems to descend upon my backyard. It reminds me of the lake. I'm glad we're not rivals anymore. Me too! Although, I don't think I've ever been more productive than I was when I was trying to one-up you. <laughs> Maybe a little front in the competition is what we both needed. I sigh and nuzzle against Brian a little harder. <laughs> I am the cuddle champion. We'll see about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm going to assume that was the good ending for Brian. I hope so. Oh, man. Okay. So this was this was the first ending. Wowzers. So, that being said, I, I would be, I am interested in seeing what happens with the other, other dads, but I'm kind of okay with this being my finale for the LP, for my stream, for 
all of that stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, I, I'll probably stream, like, it as bonus content or something, but I'm cool with this being, like, my official finale. That was a lot of fun. That This game, I want to thank my friend uh, Majestic for recommending this game to me for not not <sighs> tricking me into buying the game. Because it was ultimately my decision, but, you know, it was definitely her and Cheryl Errol to encourage me to kind of, you know, kind of be myself. And that's, that's what I, I felt the best about this game, is I could be myself a little bit. So, I mean, I'm not... I appreciate this game a lot. I mean, I know... I've, I've been trying to read up on it, and so there's been, you know, obviously some criticism and stuff, but... I found this game really... useful. And so... I don't know. Uh, it definitely helped me kind of come out of a shell a little bit, I think. Test company, please ignore. Okay, that's weird. According to Play PS4. Test company, please ignore. I wonder if that's like the name of the company. That'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Plenty of play testers. And again, I know that this game was a lot of effort in the making, obviously, with the with writing and programming and all that stuff. So, thank you to all the people who made this cool game. Um, honestly, like I had heard about the game when it first came out, and then I did not realize who made the game at all. Until I happened to watch. Oh, you're the best, Pops! <gasps> oh! Thank you, Manda Panda. Oh. oh! I've already had all the feels, and I am not gonna go through another run tonight. It's gonna be. <gasps> what is this? Oh, Brian! Oh. Oh, Brian, your pants are wet. <laughs> ah. Oh, is this is this okay to show on Twitch? Is this okay to stream? Ooh, okay. Ah, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> ah. Ah. That's that's Ooh, okay. That's Hello. That fish is not gonna have a good day, but we are. <laughs> okay, so is this like a... Again, I have never played this game before, so I don't know... the details about... I am... So I guess that's the good ending? I honestly don't know how this game works at all. I'm okay with it. Oh, okay. Another time, perhaps. Perhaps one that has slightly fewer tears. Because again, I did not know what to expect coming going into that at all. Okay. Um, is there a gallery? Oh! Oh, so you can see all the daddies and their glories. Haha, uh -huh, okay. And then, I don't think there's any new ones here. That's the old cats and fish. I didn't even realize that was like a challenge until literally it was over. I was like, okay, sure, let's play Connect 3, let's play Bejeweled again with the fishy, sure. And Brian was talking about something, and again, it didn't dawn on me at all what the heck was going on there. So, whew, okay. That being said, this has been amazing. I am interested in seeing what the other endings look like. I don't know if I'm going to get good endings for everybody or not. Um, I definitely could have drunk more uh, vodka, too. I think I only had, like, maybe two shots worth. And so, I, I mean, I'm still kind of cognizant and just rambling like usual. So, blah, 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 blah. Um, but that has been Gene Daddy. Okay. I love that last story. That was amazing. Okay. I have what many, many feels. Okay. But... 
that being said, I'll go ahead and stop here. This has been crazy. I, don't, I doubt anybody popped in. Doesn't look like anybody did, but I will eventually cut and paste this for YouTube, probably. Assuming I can post that picture, I don't know. That's, I was a little, whoo, whoo, whoo. The vapors, the vapors. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Until next time, I'll get you later.